Seeds is a fully transparent, decentralized financial system. Now, what does that mean? When we say transparent, that means you can see everything that's happening within that financial system. Now, how this compares with our legacy financial institutions is that they operate in the shadows and they benefit from the opaqueness of those financial systems. You know, a report came out recently that the federal government of the United States lost around $21 trillion. Like, that's a mind-boggling amount of money that was misplaced. There was an accounting error and they don't know where this money went, so, so they say. Um, so this is an interesting predicament. Um, yeah, we're not going to go down that rabbit hole. So <laughs> the idea here is it's only transparent and you only are able to see what's going on if you know how to actually query the blockchain. So that's what I'm going to give a crash course on right now is how to actually look up what's interesting and what you might want to know within the Seeds financial system. So Seeds and Haifa, which I'm also going to talk about, are both on top of the Telos blockchain. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to a Telos block explorer, which is where we're at right now. So blocks.io is a block explorer for EOSIO uh, blockchains, Telos being one of them. So if you go to telos.blocks.io, it brings you to this block explorer. So here's where you then get to put on any of the accounts. So I'm going to link all the interesting accounts that I'm going to go over here within the show notes. But first we're gonna go over the token.seed. So this is the main contract for the seeds token. And if you come to this account, you're actually gonna go down and see every single transaction that's being made with seeds. So you can see, you know, new decks sent some tokens. You know, someone sent tokens to new decks, et cetera. So obviously people are buying and selling tokens on new decks, that exchange. You get to see people are sending tokens to each other and everything that's happening. So there's been a, quite a bit of transactions in one day. Or actually, all these transactions are only within the matter of a couple hours. Anyway, so you actually get to see everything that's happening within that seeds contract. Second, and here's a very interesting piece of information, is within that token.seeds contract, you get to see all the top token holders. So now you don't have to take anybody's word for it how seeds are actually being distributed. You actually get to go and see for yourself how seeds are distributed, who the whales are, so to speak, where which accounts are holding the most tokens and why they might be holding them. And then how are those accounts then spending those tokens? So the dot seeds accounts that you see here, these are seed system accounts. So these are official contracts and official accounts within the seeds ecosystem. And seeds itself is the only one that owns that dot seeds account. So if you know, if you see dot seeds as an account name, then you know it's an official seeds account. So you see gift.seeds. Now this is our campaign account that the citizens of seeds are actually governing to be able to distribute tokens. So you see that that does in fact have nearly 35% because it's already issued a very small fraction already. You see the next highest account holder is that bank.seeds account. Now this one you know is locked up and these seeds aren't being spent, which is what you see here. It's still in escrow. Then you go down and there's Haifa.seeds. Now these are seeds that Haifa is holding that are in escrow. So that organization. Then you see allies.seeds and this is the account that's holding the allies, etc. So you get to go down and you get to see all the main account holders are actually those system contracts. So you don't see any individual in here that's holding more seeds than any of the system accounts. And this is what's really interesting based on these blockchain systems versus our legacy institutions is the legacy institutions are generally having to take it on people's words that accounts are saying what they say they are. That you don't actually ever get to go into the books and see for yourself, wait, okay, they are telling the truth. That is how many tokens are being held or that's how much money they have in each account. And that's what's really cool. So then you can actually go to this gift.seeds account, click on it, and then you get to see where tokens are being spent. So you get to see that gift.seeds sent some tokens to the alchemist. And then if you go in and see the proposals, you can see a proposal passed to send 222,000 seeds for distributing out as campaigns. Then you even get to go to that account and say, okay, how are they sending out those tokens? You get to go down and see, okay, well, this account's sending a whole bunch of invites, but let's see if they're actually sending out 222 seeds for people. Okay, look, so we have Xavier Cedar got 222 seeds, so he must have done a good deed in order to earn them. So you got to actually go to this account and see if they published a good deed. 
etc. And this is where it gets really interesting within Seeds and how this whole thing operates on chain is you get to go and look at every detail of how this is operating, who's sending tokens around and why. So this moves our current institutions, our current legacy financial institutions, they thrive in the shadows. They thrive in the opacity of how they're actually moving money. This is how fraud is possible. This is how money laundering is possible. And all those crimes that are money-based crimes are only possible because they operate in the shadows. But once we bring everything into this transparent realm, it becomes much more difficult to abuse people and abuse entire you know, countries and manipulate things because now we can see for ourselves how everything's operating. And this is that paradigm shift that blockchain is operating, is to bring everything into the light, for everything to become transparent and for people to be able to see how things are actually working. So another really interesting contract is the join.seeds one. And this is the one that's actually inviting people. So anytime you send an invite, it actually goes through the join.seeds account. So you can come here and you get to see all the new accounts that are being made. So if you filter it by just account, because otherwise you're going to see that this account is making a lot of different transactions. Because when a new account is made, it's actually staking some Telos for it in order to give some bandwidth on the Telos blockchain to that account. So you get to see that this account is sending out Telos, it's sending out the seeds that are being gifted to that account, etc. But if you actually filter it by account, then you get to see all the new accounts that are being created within seeds. And you get to see that, okay, quite a bit are actually being created recently. Um, and then you get to see all the different account names that are being created. So, you know, Avalon Love, awesome. And I actually love coming through here and seeing all the creativity of the new names of all the people that are coming in. So anyway, this is where you get to see every new account that's being created if you'd like to do that. Um, another really interesting account is the Telos2.seeds. So this is the exchange contract that Haifa set up for people to be able to buy tokens from. And this is where you get to see the total funding too. So you can see that it's holding about $2,000 worth of Telos. So you get to know how much Telos so far Haifa has raised selling seeds. And then you get to come down and actually see the current price. So you see that the current US dollar price for seeds is 90.9091 seeds per dollar. So if you know that if you send a Telos to this account, then this is the exchange rate that you're getting. You see the citizen limit, you see the resident limit and the visitor limit. So all of the contract details of how this operates is clear and transparent for anyone to come and actually see for themselves how this is working. So now you get to go over to the account and see, okay, how many people are buying seeds with Telos? So you get to see, oh, this person actually received 13,000 seeds. So they sent in some Telos and they got some seeds out. And you get to go through and see all the people who are actually buying seeds with this contract. So if you come back to the main token.seeds account, let's follow this back a little bit. This is where I'd recommend going if you want to see anything that's happening, where all the main tokens are being stored and how everything is going on, who the main token holders are, etc. This only shows the top 500 accounts, so you can go through and see all 500 of the accounts, find you, how you rank amongst them all, and all that good stuff. So this is where I'd suggest you start off if you want to just go and explore where all the tokens are and where tokens are being spent, etc. But Telos, or sorry, Seeds is a decentralized financial system, but Haifa is also a decentralized organization. So if you want to know how Haifa's funds are going and how it's spending its funds, you'll be able to see that as well, which is all under the DAO.Haifa account. So this is how the DAO is operating. So it's got a Seeds.Haifa account, which is also a Haifa account. So all the .Haifa accounts are the official Haifa accounts. So .Seeds are official Seeds accounts, .Haifa is the official Haifa accounts. And we do this for maximum transparency. We don't want to have all these opaque, you know, hard to understand account names. We want to make it very clear and transparent where funds are and why they're there. So now you get to go to the DAO.Haifa account and see how Haifa itself is spending its tokens. How many tokens it's holding, its total token value. So you can see all the seeds that Haifa's, you know, holding in total, which is about 62 million and then how's it spending its money. 
So you get to go through and see everything, every single proposal that's come through, who's earned seeds, how they're earning it, and the whole deal. You even get to see descriptions of the ballots, so how people are applying for different roles, what they're saying, how things are being paid out, everything. So this is what we're talking about where it's a transparent organization. Every aspect of how Haifa operates, how it's spending funds, you know, where those funds are going, why people are getting them, all of it is all stored here on the blockchain. Now, it's a little bit hard to understand, like the UI is not perfect in these block explorers, but that's what the Haifa, the, or the UI for the Haifa organization itself is meant to do, is take this information and translate it in a much more beautiful way so that we can interact with it better. But what's really powerful about building these things on a blockchain is now any developer out there can query the same information and build a different UI for it and build a different way of interacting with the blockchain and seeing this data in a different way. So yes, we're building applications to interact with seeds as a blockchain, but anyone else can and anyone can use this same data. So this is another one of those paradigm shifts from you know, current tech companies today, they take all their data and they silo it so that no one has access to it except for them. And oftentimes they're selling it and using it to exploit people. But the blockchain is very different where it makes that totally transparent. It doesn't make it, uh, it doesn't put it in a silo and it doesn't restrict access to it. So now the entire community can benefit from all this beautiful information that's being gathered about how our financial system and organizations are operating. So. That's one of the big paradigm shifts that's taking place here is again, that shift from hiding and hoarding information to making it completely visible, open and transparent. So I hope this little tutorial helped a little bit, helped you understand how these block explorers work, how you can navigate them. You know, you can filter through different types what you're looking for. So if you're only looking for the votes that took place, you can filter for that. If you're looking just for the accounts that received funds, you can filter for the account type. So there's a lot of different ways you can interact with these block explorers to find the information that you're looking for. And I recommend you just coming out to them, playing around, digging in. But again, I'll link a lot of the main accounts in the show notes here so you can find out how much funds Haifa is holding, for example, and um, the main seeds accounts that are generating funds and distributing them out. So this is our dedication to transparency and hoping that this video actually helps you understand how to go in and see for yourself how everything's operating.